so it's a few days later because I didn't have the time to um, finish this page when I started it but well it surely is very dry right now and um, I want to use my new template I've made one myself and I don't know if you can see it very well but I just uh, let my silhouette cutter just uh, cut some uh, stars out of it in different sh uh, shapes and I want to do use this on my art journal and first of all I want to uh, apply some gesso so the page is not that um, well I just want to fade it out a little bit so uh, that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to dry it and then I have some colors um, which I want to use I don't know if I will use them all, but um, well, just we'll see. These are just uh, cheap acrylic paints, and um, I also have some blues and greens. Well, they are not. Well, they are a little bit different, but um, we'll see if this works too. And I also have some homemade black uh, spray. This is used with watercolor paints from a tube and also my, um, well, cut out uh, letters. As you can see I've used this before and I used uh, the uh, cut out letters to apply here. So when I did that I, I used some cardstock and I have some um, aluminum foil tape, it's self adhesive and I placed it along the cardstock and then I had a thin Sizzix uh, die, it's a very long die and I cut out uh, the letters and as you can see not all the letters just came out right or just, well, I don't know but um, some just didn't pick up very well. But I thought it was fun to use it as a template, so um, you can use all kinds of things, as I said before. So look at scrap things you have, or just things uh, that you think, oh, I have to throw it away, but maybe you can use it as a template or something else in your art journal. So, um, well, I don't know what I want to do exactly, but um, I do know the colors I want to use and the stars I want to use and also uh, the scripture from Word at Wednesday so um, I'm just going ahead and uh, you'll see what I'm going to make
So here's my art journal for this week. It was a very quick one. And I like how the background is still coming out and you don't see the brown anymore. But you can still see the texture in, uh, from the paper. And um, well, this is what I made. What I did with the previous uh, art journals, I said I wanted to use my candles, and I did. So the paper is uh, feeling a little bit waxy, so I just uh, took a tea teacup, uh, no, a, a tea light, and I just uh, smeared it all over the page. And uh, I really think it's going to help to, um, well, just to don't get the page stick together. So uh, I hope it's a, a, um, a good idea for you too, or a good uh, tip to use it. And when this is completely dry for about a day, I'm going to put my um, uh, candle on it too. And uh, well, it's, it's now a little bit rough to the touch. And um, well, when you put your candle on it and you smear it all over, you can feel like uh, a waxy substance on it, so um, it really helps to uh, keep your pages safe. So this is for this week, and I hope to see you next week. Bye bye.